Check. Check. One, two, three, we go. MediaTek has done something very interesting. They have launched their all new, all big core mobile processor, the Dimensity 8450. And by all big core, I mean all the cores, all eight cores, every one of them is a prime core. Interesting, right? Now the 8450 is positioned as a premium 5G smartphone chipset and that makes complete sense. Now the 8350 was very similar in nature. Again, it was powering premium mid-range devices, devices that could be called flagship killers. On similar lines, the 8450 wants to do the exact same thing. This chipset will power devices that are premium. They have all the features that a flagship smartphone should have. But again, they will be priced lower than flagships Hence, the term flagship killer. Now, Oppo took the opportunity and presented a few slides to us at the event, showing us how Oppo's Trinity engine will work in sync or work with the new 8450 chipset from MediaTek. They also revealed that the Oppo Reno 14 Pro will be the first phone in India to have this all big core chipset. Not only this, they also told us, they also, well, rather teased that the next K-series phone will also have this chipset, which is a little tricky because I just told you that this chip will focus on premium, you know, more premium uh, mid-range devices, which basically have every feature that flagships have offer. And saying that the next K-series uh, phone will also have this chipset is kind of tricky because K-series is kind of in the affordable side, sub 20, sub 25k. Now that we are done with the Oppo part, let's dive in the details, the specifications of this chip. Now this chip, like every other MediaTek phone nanometer processor, has 8 cores, has a total of 8 cores. But the difference here is, the thing that makes this chip unique is that all of these 8 cores are prime cores. They are Cortex-A725 prime cores. All the cores clocked to a maximum of 3.3 GHz. Along with the CPU, you also have the GPU. The GPU here is the Mali G720. It's a great GPU, amazing for gaming, high-end gaming, uh, delivers a good number of frames per second. So again, CPU, the GPU, both of them combined are, it's a great combination basically. Now, how they actually perform, we'll have to see in actual benchmarking tests. So what else do we have? We have 6 MB of L3 cache. We have the NPU 880 Gen AI engine. Again, as the name suggests, we'll primarily focus on AI tasks, which by the way is one of the USPs of this chip, uh, which MediaTek mentioned multiple times that on edge, on device, uh, AI capabilities is one of the core focus areas of this new chipset. We have the Magic 1080 ISP imaging chip, which is basically responsible for the phone's camera performance. We have the MiraVision 980 chip, again, responsible for good display and good imaging. MediaTek claims that this chip is 11% better in single core performance and 41% better in multi-core performance when compared to Dimensity 8300 in Geekbench scores. It also claims that the Dimensity 8450 is 44% better in power efficiency, basically battery backup, when compared to Dimensity 8300 in peak power consumption. Last but not least, MediaTek also claims that this chip is exceptionally good at handling gaming. So gaming is one of the key avenues that MediaTek is positioning uh, this chip. Now, one thing that really stood apart for me during this whole presentation is right before I was traveling to this event, on my way in the cab, I was reading this story about Carl Pei making it very clear, making it evident that he is just about done with people obsessing over what kind of processor the phone has. In his view, and again, in my view as well, if that matters, processor is part of a very bigger picture. Yes, of course, the processor plays a huge role in the overall performance, but it is not the only thing that matters. Now his point is people usually turn smartphone launches into something very ugly, into something that boils down to just silicon based roasting, silicon based arguments. And just minutes after I finished that story that by the way happened just a few days ago, MediaTek showed us data from CounterPoint Research emphasizing the fact that, that the most important thing for the Indian smartphone buyer right now at this moment is what kind of processor their phone has. So 
so obviously there's some kind of a dichotomy there but it is what it is the camera is supposed to be an upgrade as well this chipset can accommodate up to 200 megapixel camera and supports up to 4k 60 fps of video recording again you see the difference here between an actual flagship chip and a very good premium chip i did wish that the chip also supported 4k 120 fps video but it does not it only supports 4k 60 fps hdr video which is by the way not bad at all that being said the chipset not only houses the magic 1080 isp chip for better in sensor zoom it also offers multi-frame electronic image stabilization engine basically an ais engine that is responsible for stabilized 4k 60 fps hdr video to this add the npu 880 ai engine chip which also plays a role here with post processing of the images so overall you get a camera that is capable of taking good photos and taking good videos by the time you'll be watching this video the oppo reno 14 series will already be out so be sure to check the bw website and bw tv our youtube channel for first impressions and reviews of the phone my name is steep i'll be signing off keep watching bw tv and bw business world thank you damn it i'm still not used to this whole setup Yeah. <laughs>